Okay, just a few things that I need to address that are just really coming to me right now that I need to share this. I need to talk about it. So if you have been abused by your narcissistic parent as a child and when you grow up, you are an adult and you are questioning everything because it's natural to do that because you are saving yourself you are healing yourself you want to move forward you want to leave this behind and you want to have a happy and normal healthy life that you deserve and so if you try to talk <clears throat> to them about it about the abuse they attack you instead of understanding you they don't have the space or the ability to understand you and this is a very typical narcissistic trait that they don't have any sympathy for you even though you are their child and so if people have been too demanding because you are an empath a highly sensitive person maybe you identify to be an earth angel star seed as well so you might have noticed that you know people come to you for help uh, like because this happened to me and you know you have to learn to draw the lines what you will put up with and what you won't so this is where the boundary lesson really comes through and the self-love and self-care because you are responsible for your own well-being and it's not wrong to take care of yourself you have to take care of yourself once again, who can do that for yourself if you don't do it for yourself? So you have to be that responsible adult and know what you are responsible for and what you're not. And also I want to mention that, you know, it's not a wonder if you are really tired and drained, you know, after everything. Because you never had a parent and you have to face the fact that you had somebody who was in a constant competition with you they were never really on your side like a parent should be you were never really a child to them who needs compassion and love from them and support and all of that they get angry if you tell them that you wanted unconditional love they get angry they get triggered if you are suddenly setting boundaries and, you know, speaking out, speaking up for yourself. This can also be a typical narcissistic trait that your parent has been copying you. Or if it was your sister, for example, you guys are sisters. Um, this person has been copying everything that you, <laughs> you basically are and do because well, deep down, it's a sign that they sort of like want to be you, that you have something that they want. But it's, of course, it's so toxic that it comes from a family member who should be supportive, who should be loving you and caring for you and all of that. So it's just so crazy. But these can be the symptoms that have been happening to you and all you can do is just you know just be handling everything just be healing and moving on but it's really about you know because they don't have their identity in place they don't have the groundwork in place for their lives so you know all they have is this immature toxic energy within them this demonic energy that can be very scary at least for me i've had such scary experiences with these type of people that they have been like psychopathic and it's still you know basically a wonder that i'm still here i'm still sane <laughs> and you know all of that i'm here recording this video right now the situations have been horrific and so i just want to you know, give you my support if this resonates with you, that you have also been through similar situations, that you've been very, very scared and in panic. And another thing is that they can try to haunt you, they can try to hoover you back into their lives. And this ha has also been happening to me from my family members, from my uncle, uh, for example, from my narcissistic mother. 
um, my uncle is not very well either. So he's not narcissistic, but um, but it's good to remember that these symptoms can be shown in a person, even though they would not be a full-on narcissist, but they can have traits that can be, for example, like controlling, like just trying to come back into your life, you know, and they don't realize that you have grown up, that you actually have boundaries now, that you actually have standards and boundaries, and you're not going to be tolerating that BS. Because it's always so important to know where you stand in life and what you have worked hard for, because if you've been doing the hard work of healing, and you know discovering yourself and your identity and everything because you are actually a responsible adult who takes accountability who cares for people but you also have to be caring for yourself first and foremost because you cannot be abandoning yourself anymore you were abandoned as a child but now you have to be the responsible parent the responsible adult that you are and you are a wise being as an empath, highly sensitive person. I believe that we are so wise, you know, and we are healers. So we are here to help, yes, but with boundaries. When dealing with this kind of people, when they just are immature people, they have adult bodies. But deep down, they are like five-year-olds who have no emotional intelligence. They have no skills to understand you and your needs because all they want is take and take and take from you so they are toxic they might be showing like they are healed and they are amazing people but that is all fake it's not real and we have to be able to you know as empaths and hsps we have to be able to trust our own intuition and our own wisdom and to know who is good for us and who is not and once again if you need help with this i have my boundaries boot camp for example that you can purchase and start practicing your boundaries because it's not impossible to remove these kind of people from your life it's really not it can seem impossible i know i've been there so many times when i was so scared and alone and all of that but that is why i'm here to support you and tell you that it is not impossible to pick up and continue your life and heal and move on you know transform your life into what you want it to be what it should be instead of you always doing things for others and giving away your precious energy and you know just <laughs> trying to sort of like parent these toxic people who have no business being in your life in the first place so if you want one-on-one -on -one help you can book my free call for it for example so that we can chat and uh, discuss how i can help you in the end you can win and you will win if you keep on going and having the mindset of a winner instead of somebody who just basically loses their life over nothing and you don't deserve that you are here for so much more you are so needed you have a place in this world and a narcissist just you know wants to put you down those toxic people do nothing but they want to distract you, especially when you're on the right path. They want to appear into your life like ghosts from the past. They want to scare you and they just want to have power and control over you. Uh, they don't necessarily even realize that themselves because it's so automatic for them to act that way. And they think that you are the kind one just taking them back into your life. But it's now your job to be setting those boundaries as a life lesson and, you know, to stand up for yourself and tell them that, no, you cannot treat me like this. You cannot just pop into my life like that without a real apology and real responsibility and real accountability because you have not had therapy, for example, and, you know, 
even though they might tell you that they are all healed and everything, like I said, but it can be just lies. So they can just lie so easily. So it's important to trust your intuition into, you know, what what you know is true in your heart, in your soul, because you see it because you are an empath, you are an empath that just be. So you see and sense and, 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 and feel things intuitively so easily so trust yourself work on that it's too easy for a sensitive empath to just be to become anxious anxious or um ashamed or whatever you know the old trauma can pop up if you are experiencing uh these situations in the present by these people who have no respect for you or your sensitivity that is just so sad and so wrong and it's so infuriating and that is why i'm called to talking about this you know doing my work because i just want to be you know setting that example just you know this is what i am and this is what i do that I'm at this point in my life where I, you know, I just want to help you out. So it's important that you remember that you don't need to be carrying this anymore and you never should have in the first place. Because a narcissistic person, this toxic person who just takes from you, who does not communicate normally with you, who does not clearly have normal respect for you they don't hear you out or anything like that so they will never be on your side they rarely heal very rarely so you cannot trust that they would have healed even though they might claim that and pretend to be someone else but we have to be careful with these sorts of people, you know, and we have to have this game plan, how we think about them and, and all of that. And it, it, it involves basically ignoring them. Because, uh, you know, if you try to engage with them, they will just always try to blame you for everything. They will always try to scapegoat you, pour it all on you, even though you really deep down, you know that you have not done anything to hurt them or something like that. You have not done anything wrong. You are just existing. You are just being a kind, sensitive, empathic, just be person. There is nothing wrong with that. That is a gift from a God. So... That is who you are and they just try to train you out and use you and they have no respect for your feelings or your well-being they are so hurt and selfish and immature toxic so they will just turn everything against you and if this resonates with you that you feel like you are the black sheep uh, in your family you are the only one who's actually doing the work, healing, talking about things, you know, you are being a normal person because you are <laughs> this amazing, strong person because you have, you would have not survived if you were not that strong. But being an empath, it just be, is about being a strong person, a wise, an old soul, you know, somebody who has a lot of death and you have that. And so... It is your superpower and it is what you need to hold on to every day, you know, and remind yourself that you are worthy of healthy relationships and you don't need to be dealing with these unhealthy people, whether they are your family members or not. It is not a normal life, but at the same time, you know, what I have studied and all of that, as I've said before, I believe that us God's chosen ones, empaths and highly sensitive people, earth angels, earth and star seeds. As I've mentioned before, I believe that we just are attacked by these kind of toxic people. Sometimes, you know, out of nowhere and it can be so scary and, and cause panic attacks and, and all of that. But that is just a call for you if it happens that 
you just need to, you know, gather your power back and all of that and just stay away from them as much as possible. Just cut them out. Because it's it's not alive to be feeling that way. It's not alive to be in panic and scared because of these toxic immature people. As empowered native species, we just want to save the world. That is what we're here for. That is the mission that we have that ha has been given to us. It has been given to us by God. We have that soul contract to do that. And we are here to help the world. But of course, as I always say, first we have to help ourselves. We cannot be there for others if we are not there for ourselves first. And so if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, these can be the big issues that we can work on in our calls. And, you know, you would be able to heal and move on and, you know, transform your life step by step because you would be owning your own power, your self-confidence and, and your full healing every step of the way.